Hi folks, co-tutor here and my name is Anil Deshpande. In the previous video on work manager, we understood how the work training works. In this video, we will talk about how to use work manager for doing long running tasks. The concept pretty much still remains the same as we have seen in the foreground service. That is, let's assume that you have application which runs in the background. It may run periodically if you are using a periodic work manager to run your worker or it could be one time worker, doesn't matter, but it's running in the background. So during that time, you have to basically show a notification to indicate that something is happening in the background so that the user is aware that there is a resource that is being occupied by the OS or the platform. And then once the background task is done, it could be anything. It could be downloading of a file or it could be syncing certain values with the backend servers, anything for that matter. Once it is done, the notification will have to go away. It is pretty similar to the foreground service that we have seen earlier. Only the difference is now we are using the work manager to accomplish the same thing. Now the question is, how do we do it using the work manager? That is, how do we trigger the notification when the worker starts? For example, we have this class called as foreground info. It is nothing but a object that holds the notification that you want to trigger. That kind of an object you create and you have to use it in your worker. And then when you invoke this particular method called as a set foreground async method, you have to pass this foreground info. If you are wondering where this particular set foreground async method gets called, it gets called typically inside the do start method just before you start something that is going to take long time to run in the background. And then in the manifest file, you have to add that this is going to take a system foreground service. Uh, it could be location, microphone, or it could be a data sync for that matter. And that's it. You basically have a worker that triggers a notification when running in the background. So now let us understand this through a demo. So I am pretty much going to modify the same old code that we had written that was generating the random number generator using the worker. Nothing much changes here in the main activity. I am still using the same work manager. I am creating a work request, which is a periodic work request, or it could be a one time work request as well. It doesn't matter. So I will just update this and then you enqueue the work when you click on the button to start and you cancel it. Nothing changes here. What changes is basically some parts of the random number generator. So what we will do is uh, we will utilize my app notification manager, a custom class that I had written to basically build the notification. If you are completely new to the concept of notification, I suggest that you watch my notification series. And after that, you can come back here and then let me show you what I am going to do. So first of all, I will create a instance of my notification manager and then I will initialize this. And then in the do work method, I have to basically invoke set foreground async. So set foreground async. And if you see here, it expects a foreground info. So what we will do is we will create a private method here. Let me call it as private foreground info, create foreground info. And let me pass a string here. And then let me create a object of notification. And for that, I will use my notification manager dot get notification target is main activity dot class. Then title is message, whatever that I am sending priority is one. And then do you want to auto cancel false? Let me use that and notification ID. I have created a notification ID here whose value is 10. Now I have to return new foreground info and you can see that 
I need to pass the notification ID and the notification. So it could be notification ID and the notification. So this will basically construct the notification that I want to show. And I then basically wrap that notification inside the foreground info. And it is this foreground info that I will have to pass here. So create foreground info, say random counter that is the message that i want to display when the notification is triggered and in the manifest file i have already added the service with the name system foreground service foreground service type it could be location data sync whatever that makes sense these are some predefined values just go through the documentation that you can use so let me run this i will click on the start service and you will see that the random number is getting generated and also if you drag down the drawer here you can see that there is a random counter and what is this random counter it is pretty much the notification that we triggered using the set foreground async from the do work of the worker and if you click here it opens the activity and if i now click on the stop service the notification will go away now you won't see that notification and that's it about the work manager or worker being used to execute long running tasks in android that brings us to the end of this particular video don't forget to like comment share the video and subscribe to the channel take care bye